This may look like just a boring crater, but really we have complete control over its location in space, its depth into the ground, its overall scale, and its procedural rocky geometry. And all this is being driven by a simple grayscale texture, which we can change and morph around to generate new types of craters. So here we have the crater that killed the dinosaurs, here we have the one that makes perfect sense, and here we have the one for all the balding jokes you make. And as long as you have a camera and image to work with, the newest version of Wonder and experience killing the default cube, you too can simulate the national dead in 3, 2, 1. So with Wonder open, expunge the default cube, load in your images the camera background, and add a ground plane so we can reorient our camera to the right perspective. Now to create our grayscale texture, head over to the shading workspace, apply the default material to the ground plane, and brace yourself for some level 12 noting. Start off by swapping the principled BSDF for a gradient texture set to quadratic sphere using the UV texture coordinates for our mapping. Now to distort this, bring in a noise texture node added to our mapping node, and play around with the sliders in the UV map until everything is centered on our plane. Finally, we can remap our gradient by adding in a color ramp node which lets us control the fall off. So just to summarize, we use the mapping node to control location and scale, we use the noise node to control detail, and we use the color ramp node to control fall off. This means we can make tons of crater maps procedurally, which we're going to use to drive the displacement. To do this, add in a displacement node, hook up our output into the height, and send this into the displacement socket of the material output node. Now to see our deformation, just toggle over to cycles with the experimental feature set, change the material settings to include displacement and bump, and use the subdivision surface modifier with adaptive enable to add more geometry to work with. Finally, in our displacement node, set the mid-level to zero and choose some negative scale value, which flips our deformation. For the rest of the shading, just add in a principled BSDF and a holdout shader mixed together by our crater map and use another color ramp node for our base color. If you want to get fancy, you can also add some additional bump from a normal map and play around with different lighting settings, but when you're done wasting your time, just enable film transparency, choose some render settings you like, and in the compositing workspace, import in the same background image, mix this with the render layers node using an alpha over node, and hit render to get our final results. And if instead you want to make a moving shot, just camera track your footage and use the same workflow to create the crater. Really, the only difference here is that we're taking our procedural crater map and tracking it to the ground, which gets you much more karma on Reddit. And there you go, another acne-inducing beginner-friendly tutorial to try indoors. I've been CG Matter, you've been you, Bye bye